Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today we are back for some more League One content on the channel. Yes, the season is finished and we are doing our ranking videos as ever. Today we are ranking all the away days in League One. I am a Fleetwood fan but we do cover League One on this channel. So if you're a League One fan, next season... Get subscribed, so much League One content to come. Now, I went to 22 out of the 23 away games last year. I missed Plymouth Argyle away due to having COVID. So, that one will not be ranked in this video. I have done it before. It's a decent away day as well. Uh, but all the other teams I saw, I did 45 out of 46 games. Before I do get on with this video, this video is sponsored again by our friends at One Football. A brilliant football app that every football fan needs to download. You can get live stream, you can get latest news, you know, news articles, you can stream highlights. There's a lot of things you can do on the app. It's absolutely fantastic. And again, looking back at the season, looking at you know how the game went and you know, to review this video because the result is obviously a huge part of the day. So bottom of the list, I've gone for Gillingham away. It was nil-nil, it was towards the end of the season. There was no real good pubs near the ground. The food inside the ground was okay. Grounds, fairly adequate. The atmosphere, considering it was a sellout, I thought was poor. Uh, we didn't really take many. And just as a whole day, it just wasn't a great performance. wasn't really a great atmosphere. Um, wasn't great food inside the ground. And um, it was more of, an, of a nervous atmosphere inside that stadium. Next up, Accrington. The pub was good. Food, meh. Stadium, I like grounds like Accrington. Stanley, the atmosphere was pretty good. But we got beat 5-1. And it was an awful day. It was absolutely freezing. On the wet, on the wet and open terrace of Accrington, Stanley. And that is why they are bottom in this list um, with Gillingham. Next up, Shrewsbury. They had, a, they had a decent clubhouse at the ground, which I thought, you know, which knocks them up a bit. It's an okay away end. You know, they've got a decent concourse, but the game was poor. The atmosphere was poor um, within the stadium as well. And wasn't one of those away games that you remember. It's just one of those away games that was just like, meh. Next stop, Wimbledon. Wimbledon, I remember getting there half one. Normally, we get there half twelve. The pub was about 40 minutes away, so I didn't go. Uh, the, the pie, 6 out of 10. You know, pie reviews will be there next season. Got to got to be done. The away end was decent. It's a nice little ground. But again, atmosphere let it down. We drew 2-2. Two, two. Um, okay away day uh, at best. Next up, Ipswich. Good away day, to be fair. Um, again, it is in my bottom five because... We lost in the last minute, uh, and it was a gutty one to take. It was a long way to go, and there was no real away day pub, if I remember rightly, but the facilities for the home fans on a, a game is really good. They've got a great fan zone, you know, great memorabilia outside of the ground with the statues, brilliant stadium, you know, decent atmosphere, but losing 2-1 in the last minute, that is why um, it is down there. Next up, Sheffield Wednesday. Now, it was a Tuesday night, which... Puts it down for me. I've been to Salisbury, you know, three times now and enjoyed my visits. But there's no real away day pub. It was on a Tuesday night. We lost one nil. We were so poor. Um, and I think I built it up to be like that. And it was like that. So um, it wasn't the greatest. Next up, Wickham. Now, if I had to rank all the away days that we lost in the last minute, pretty much 19 of the 22 would be in the bottom half because we'd lost in the last minute. But Wickham was a Tuesday night game. Again, no real pubs near near the ground for away fans. The clubhouse at the ground was okay. Seven pounds a pie, by the way. It was a decent pie. But seven quid, I expect, you know, you know, a kidney to be in there. Never mind, steak and kidney. Um, yeah, not a great away day. Decent ground. Atmosphere was how you'd expect the Fleetwood at home on a Tuesday night. Burton next. Um, we were 2 0 up. We lost 3 2 in the last minute. The ground, like Fleetwood, small but good enough for Burton. The pub was about 15 minutes away. Um, it was a decent pub as well. 
Uh, I didn't go get food at the ground, so I can't review it, but I've heard decent things about it. We were at the side. The atmosphere was flat, though, um, and it just felt like a dead rubber game for Burton, although they won it. So not the greatest of away games. Next up, Cambridge. Now, I actually enjoyed my trip to Cambridge. New ground for me. Again, one of those types of old-fashioned League 1 slash League 2 grounds. Um, the atmosphere was okay. The trip was okay. Um, the food was okay. No real pubs. There was a clubhouse outside the ground, if I remember rightly. Um, again, standard away day, 7 out of 10. Next up, Crew. Decent away game. There was a decent pub near the ground. Food inside the ground was good and a decent pie as well. Proper eight out of ten. The atmosphere from a Fleetwood point of view was decent because it was our first win in 21 matches. Um, the crew fans, it was just, they were resigned to relegation. So it could have been even better. But a standard away game where we win 3-1. Next up, Doncaster. Really like my trip to Doncaster this year. They always have decent pubs and a decent, decent bar at the ground. Um, food, decent as well. And um, they serve alcohol inside the ground as well, which is another plus. Decent concourse, which I think has to go in it. Decent away end. Uh, the atmosphere was was okay as well, considering how bad Doncaster had been uh, for many, many months as well. And um, decent away game. Next up, Oxford United. We got there three and a half hours before kickoff on a Tuesday night. We lost 3 1. We were 2 0 down after seven minutes. Simon Grayson got sacked the next morning. And um, we went into the bottom four. So it wasn't a great day, put it that way. There was a decent bowl now and a decent bar at the ground, to be fair. Um, we took 50 fans on the Tuesday night, but it was just so bad. It was so funny, that type of away game. Next up, Wigan. Unbelievable pub, Carvery as well. Um, decent ground, very good ground. Um, the atmosphere, considering that you know, the Helmsport isn't the greatest at Wigan. The away support is one of the best in the country. Um, you know, because they only get what between eight and twelve thousand. It was very loud. One of the best I've seen this season, actually. Um, the beat was two 0 We only took about three hundred on a Tuesday night, and it was it wasn't great. If it was on a Saturday, I reckon Wigan will be a lot higher. Next up, Sunderland. Another Tuesday night away game that we we lost three one. Decent. Uh, Prices considered it was Sunday, I think it was three fifty a pint, three quid a pint, which you know is really, really good when you go to an away game. Uh, considering when you go to London, you can pay six pound, uh, seven pound for a pint, as you saw with Wickham. Um, decent away game, up in the gods, great atmosphere, great stadium, and Sunday away will always be one of the best in this league. Bolton, we stayed up away at Bolton on the last day of the season. Uh, we lost 4-2, brilliant atmosphere from the Bolton fans. Again, great support, great ground, great stadium, uh, you know, great pitch, you know, great fan base. Um, you know, really, really good ground, Bolton. I really like it a lot. I, lo I like going to Bolton, even though we pretty much lose every time we've been there. 4-2, 2-1, 2-1. We're never great there, but still um, a decent away day. Next up, Cheltenham. I like Cheltenham away this year. Again, we lost. I can't keep reviewing it because we lost because there's only two away games at the top that we, you know, that we won. Um, I like the stadium. It's small but compact. The away end's decent. Good food. You know, great clubhouse at the ground. Friendly people. Typical League One club. They have been on the march and yeah, really like Cheltenham away this year. Next up, Rotherham away. And guess what? We won. We won. We weren't supposed to win. We won by four goals to two. Great away game. Great pub near the ground. Great food near the ground. Um, great everything. Great small stadium. Brilliant atmosphere from both sets of supporters. And um, it was a goal fest. And it was a sunny day as well. So I um, really enjoyed my trip to Rotherham. Next up, MK Dons on the Tuesday night early in the season. They have that high street, a loads of food places and a couple of pubs near the ground as well. The away end's decent, really good concourse, you know, great stadium. The atmosphere, a bit flat, but overall, I enjoy my trip to MK Dons on a Tuesday night. Next up, I have gone for Charlton. Charlton, we lost again, but brilliant stadium, great pitch, brilliant atmosphere. Charlton had 21,000 in the door that day. Uh, we took nearly 200 fans, which is good for us. The pub is one of the, I would say, is the second best 
away they've probably been in this season. Um, really friendly and they made the away fans welcome and they made it an away day away day pub um, as well for us that day. Great pie inside the ground, really good and uh, really enjoyed my trip. Next up, we have gone for Portsmouth. Yes, Portsmouth have to be in that list. We were 3-0 up and we drew 3-3 but Fratton Park is my favourite stadium in League One. Um, I really love it. It's an old school ground. The atmosphere is unbelievable. The, f the fans are so friendly. Um, again, there's a Green King pub right near the ground. Um, they have burger vans outside the ground. What you what football was like 20 years ago, you get at Fratton Park. They're probably a bit out of date with the football this year at times, but they're still a very, very good football club. And uh, that is why they've got to go in this list. Next up, we've got the last two. Morecambe. Great pub outside the ground, great stadium. I couldn't see a thing that day. It was foggy as anything, which is why Morecambe are in this top two. I didn't have to watch us that day. Come on, the cards. Um, Morecambe's a friendly, a friendly football club like ourselves and decent away day overall. Next up, on top of the tree, Lincoln away. First away game of the season. It was sunny, belting atmosphere. Lincoln supporters at home, one of the best in League One, if not the best. Friendly supporters. The pub right near the ground, in my opinion, was one of the best. You know, you've got a barbecue going on. The weather makes it nicer. Um, you know, great stadium. You know, great people. Great day out. Although we lost 2-1. Really enjoyed it. Just a shame that we had to meet our co-host, uh, Jake, from the League One podcast. So they are my rankings of League One away days. I want to know in the comments, what was your favourite away day? Most memorable away day, the worst away day, and an away day you're looking forward to next season. Obviously, a few new grounds for me next season. Forest Green, Exeter, and Derby County will add on to my list. Please like this video if you can. It will be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe if you are new. We are getting closer to 9,000 subscribers.